All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash, and double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere Shalom to Yaakim bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. A, um, now, uh, this um, lesson, you know, I've seen um, <clears throat> the, the brother on my Tazawam from a Mississippi camp, you know, he did a lesson on this, you know, this uh, same the same uh interview so to speak man you know and he just posted his i believe like 15 20 minutes ago now i didn't finish watching it uh but i, I heard what what uh, boosie was saying man and he wasn't wrong concerning this topic you know and that sparked you know the the inspiration of you how about shimei shai and putting the spirit on me to you know do this lesson hey now i'm gonna just let it play and i'm um chime in at a couple <clears throat> uh parts but hey i'm gonna let it play And it's like it. You can tell that this this whole this whole here, man. Hey, she was sent to push forth an agenda, and that's a thing. All the especially the women in these positions that they have the the public's ear, you know that they're on a, on a public platform, you know, showing forth, you know, uh, the public interest of women, you know, and to, and to you know stupefy the minds of children. They always bring forth these topics, and you see, she brought it out to to see if really if Boosie was going, you know, she brought it out. In the sense that she was hoping he would back down from what he was saying. And he stood his ground, which is great, man. Hey, because what he's about to say isn't wrong. Hey, he, he actually goes in, right? But, hey, they use these pawns and these, these quote-unquote, um, what's the word? <clears throat> Influential people to push these messages to get the minds of younger Jake to submit, man. And really what they're doing, matter of fact, <clears throat> this is uh, coming from the book of, um, matter of fact, Proverbs. <clears throat> 17 and 15. It says, he that justify the wicked and condemneth the just. It's like he that justify the wicked and condemneth the just. Even they both are an abomination to the Lord, Yahweh by Shema was shy. Hey, so what she's trying to do is justify the wickedness of homosexuality, man. Hey, and really that whole hey, uh, alphabet agenda, right? Hey, but she's trying to also condemn the just, right? Because wickedness sees righteousness is adverse. When really, wickedness is adverse to righteousness, man. Yahweh by Shema Shai set forth a standard. Hey, that a man is supposed to be with a woman and a woman is supposed to be with a man. Not that a man is supposed to be with a man. No. He created them hey, to be one, man. For what? Procreation. Anything adverse outside of that union is wicked. It's no if ands. It's no buts. It's no, uh, oh, it's complicated. No. It's black or white, man. What's righteous and what's wicked? Let's grab it. It's coming from the book of Leviticus 20 and 13. It says, and if a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman, right? Both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. It's plain. The Lord made it so plain, man. And it's no gray areas. Anything outside that union, man and man, woman and woman is off completely. And the Lord hates it. He despises it. It's an abomination. And the scripture tells us, Psalms 5 and 5, the Lord hateth all workers of all workers of iniquity, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab that before I grab this in Romans. Psalms 5 and 5. It says, The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. It's like a 4, 5 and 4. It says, For thou art not a power that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Right? That's plain. I believe it's something along this line. Sirach 15 and 13. The Lord Yahweh Shah hateth all abomination. 
and they that fear the Lord, Yahweh love it not. And that's plain, man. Hey, you know, it's no, you can't stir that no other way. You can't make it say something else. Right? I'm going to grab this in the book of Romans. Matter of fact, I'm going to let them go in. You know, because it's always women that, that you know, are um, forward in this type of wicked ass behavior. Hey, and, and he's right, man. Hey, that's why the scripture goes into it's a shame for a man to have long hair, you know? And even when you go into the book of Isaiah 3, it speaks about, you know, how uh, the, the women of Israel used to beautify themselves, you know, with the hairs, with the nails, with the, the tinkling ornaments, you know, so forth and so on, right? But now you have men doing that shit, which is completely off. Regardless of what anybody say, that shit is, is uh, non-productive, man. It brings forth no life. It brings forth death. It brings forth death. And if, hey, and if you don't believe it or if you don't like what's being said, hey, who cares, number one? And two, hey, if you're against what the Lord has established as righteous, hey, the Lord, hey, he's going to bring forth a judgment unto you, man. Because what you think, how you feel does not matter. What matters is what the Lord deemed acceptable and what he deemed is profane. And those that are profane have a judgment that they're going to meet. It's that simple, man. You know, it's that simple. Matter of fact, I got another precept that I want to bring out. It's from the book of Isaiah, the 59th chapter. It's Isaiah 59. And verse 15, and it reads, Yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Right? So her trying to, you know, put him on the spot, thinking that he was going to fold. Hey, that, that was off. You know, because what he did, he stood his ground, you know, and told her what the truth is. That lifestyle was, is wrong. And then women always want to use the, the argument, oh, well, what about how they feel? Hey, well, you as a mother are unfit to raise that child. If you're telling him that his feelings are overruling the truth. See, because our women complain about the men so much. But here it is. You don't want men to establish what a man and how a man is supposed to be. Especially the end up, man. And it's all the, the tribes, really all this world. Hey, but what they, their favorite person is a homosexual man. Especially a homosexual uh, uh, Judite man, man. Because that's the man that they would call their best friend. And it's the same man that they find it most comfortable to rule over. Hey, but guess what? When they get into that argument, the first thing she's going to say to that dude and she's going to call him all different types of fags, man. Oh, that gay ass. We under, hey, we hear, we hear how the end up talks, man. Especially when she's upset with an individual. All that, that uh, alphabet shit go out the window when she felt as if that uh, uh, um, feminine man has wronged her. She just likes the fact that she can rule over that man. 
That's all she likes about him. And she don't like seeing masculine men then com complain that there's a lack of strong men in the world. But here it is. She breathes forth their environment. Hey, and this behavior that continues to, to, to break down hey, the Israelite household, man. She's seen this as part of what um the serpent painted the picture of in the garden, man. And she ran with it. I got another precept. This comes from the book of Deuteronomy 23rd chapter. And now I'm going to go back into the, um, the video. But this shit is sickening, man. Deuteronomy 23 and 17. It says, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. Right. Our, our women aren't supposed to be hey, the sluttiest women on earth, man. They're supposed to be uh, princesses, man. Hey, but here it is. They show their ass everywhere. They the biggest hoes. Hey, the term baby mama and baby father are bywords, man. It says, there shall be no whore of the daughter of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Here it is. You're supposed to be a prince of the power. And you don't even uh, like women, man. What what type of uh, weak, unrulership mentality is that? I'm going to let him talk some more, man. Hey, because they approve of that behavior. Look at her face. She wasn't expecting him to go in like this. But he said, hey, why aren't the women speaking out? You would think, hey, women would be the, the ones. Hey, you look at the the, 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 the the Transformers. They're getting into your sports, breaking your records, whooping your ass. Physically. Hey, because they're allowed to, to beat on women. Here it is. Women complain about domestic abuse. Hey, then you allow uh, men fight against women in UFC and boxing hey, and physically beat women and, and it's no outcry. There's no outcry, man. Women are content with it, man. Just like Lot's wife was content with it, man. She wasn't vexed at what was happening in Sodom and Gomorrah. She appreciated her position that she had within that city, man. And that's why, hey, that's why those with that same sentiment and belief here in America, hey, Yahabashi Masha is going to make this a great oblation, man. A great sacrifice because of all the wickedness that's done here, including the same sins of Sodom and Gomorrah, man, and the neighboring cities. And this is also why the flock of the Lord's pasture are men. Because women ain't going to stand up for what's righteous as the men are. They're going to worry about the emotions and how people feel about what the message is really uh, stating, man. This is why the Lord requires men hey, that cry aloud and spare not. That'll make their, heart, their heads hard against the others, man. Without fear. Without what the world... Hey, it's telling them because the world is wrong. The works of this world are evil and those that support it are wrong, man. Yahabah Shema Shai loves when his men are standing up for righteousness. Hey, and it's not many men doing it. And that's why the apostles always say, hey, get y'all ass out there, man. Go out on the highways and hedges and stand before the camps in your cities. Hey, and, and, and work, man. You're not tired of being here? Here it is in the school system. They're telling your, your man child, your male childs, that it's okay to put on fucking dresses. And you can't say nothing against it.
Exactly, because they're sent. Every woman in a, in a power seat with that term of, of influence are all pushing the same wicked ass agenda, man. They're all pushing the same wicked ass agenda. Hey, let's look at what the what the, the comments are saying, man. He got the crowd hot. I'm loving it. That's a woman saying it, right? Here we go. 95% of black Americans feel like Boosie. That's 45 million people. I want grandchildren. The other 5% get platforms and money for propaganda. Hey, and that's true. Esau uses the sellouts of our nation. Let's see. Boosie ain't saying nothing wrong. It's a damn shame that black people are out here protecting bug breaking. So sad. Hey, understanding a root of the problem, man. Right? Somebody else said. Let's see. Somebody said, let the truth be told. Boosie is actually speaking the truth. Crazy how what he's saying sound weird to the audience. Hey, because it's an audience full of women. Hey, this woman said, it's gay men that I've watched get interviewed that actually don't want their own kid to be gay and do gay things. He said nothing wrong. Hey, look, somebody said right here, that's what's wrong with people. We didn't make these rules. The Bible is clear on homosexuality being a sin. There's no way around it. The most high don't like it. I don't know what PBP mean, but therefore it doesn't matter how we feeling about it. So y'all need to stop lying, everybody. Let's keep going. Hey, and look, look at that bitch face, man. Going to make an excuse for wickedness. Hey, which we already know. This, this is the same bitch that was dealing with Diddy, man. You know? But nevertheless, let's, um... I'm gonna bring out another precept. A couple more and I'm gonna close out, man. Hey, so he, he did the right thing for standing up, you know, for, for righteousness in this sense. He's still a nigga, man. And the Lord's still gonna destroy this nigga regardless. Hey, because he's spoken against the Bible as well, said... Um, specifically about the, um, the Levitical law of um, what's lawful and uh, unlawful to eat. You know, basically said uh, about pork that the Lord will have to get and talk to him himself because he's still going to be eating it. Hey, so this, this nigga is still two third. Hey, but he did something right in this sense, you know. But hey, he's still a nigga, man. Uh, I want to make sure that's said. This is Romans 1 and 24. Wherefore, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh also gave them up to their un uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts minds to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever amen for this cause Yahweh Bashim Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature hey women used to hey, feel as if their purpose was was completely gone when they couldn't bring forth a man's seed into this earth man now you have our women a hey, completely killing off their babies. You know, not wanting to deal with men at all. It says, and likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, right? Burned in their lust, one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. And this is why the Lord also, you know, brings forth certain, certain diseases prevalent within that community, man. And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh in their knowledge, the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, man. Right? Which is that act. 
I'm going to grab another scripture and I'm going to close out. This is uh, from the book of Jude, uh, the seventh verse. And it reads, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh. Right. That's bestiality and all the rest of that madness, the wickedness are set forth an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Right. And it was because of what? Of their wickedness. Hey, so. Hey, as Sodom and Gomorrah met the fate of receiving thermonuclear destruction, or it's like as uh, they received the fate of a, a fire and brimstone, hey, well, America is going to receive it in a, a technologically advanced way, being thermonuclear fire, man. Hey, uh, a Baba ball, you know. Shalom.